It is Monday, my dudes. All the run good packs sold overnight. That is absolutely incredible. Did not expect that many to sell out. I was hoping 20 on the first day and you guys sold that thing out. So maybe I'm gonna have to do one sooner rather than later. I am headed into the Walmart seeing if they got restocked, nothing yet. But I do have Mosaic for my secondary purchase at home. So at the very least, I'm ripping Mosaic tonight for sure. Let's see. Another day of no restock here, pretty lame. We'll check back tomorrow morning. They told me Tuesdays, 10 a.m. I don't know if I believe that, but we will see. But we got nothing here, unfortunately. So at the absolute very least, it is a gorgeous day out to look for Mosaic. Monday evening, and I'm gonna go to Fred Meyer, also gonna go to Target, maybe a second Fred Meyer, just looking, see what's on their shelves. Also looking for Champion's Path of Pokemon. Would love to rip some of that. I need those Charizards in my life. Here we go, spot number two. Just a quick like two minute drive you guys saw. Not even two minutes, because I sped that up. We'll see if uh, Fred Meyer hit the restock or not. So he missed the restock, but let's go to the Pokemon Center up front. We got nothing that we want here either, unfortunately. No Champion Path Elite Trainer Boxes. That sucks. All right, off to the next spot. You know, I hoped that my Walmart and my Fred Meyer and this Target that I'm headed to 13 miles away from my house, I was really hoping they would get some in stock um, because I'm just so uncertain what the football market's gonna do. I'm uncertain what the mosaic market is gonna do now that retail is hitting. Everything was really high when it was only hobby and no huddle, I believe that's their fast break, what they call their fast break. Um, but it'll be really interesting to see what the market for singles does now that retail is really just kind of hitting everywhere. I've been told I was here at this Target on like Sunday night, I, Sunday or Saturday, and they told me that they would restock on Monday. Now I've never seen a restock here on Monday, but it's a beautiful day, it's only 13 miles away, and I figured why not, let's just head out there and uh, see if they have it or not. So as usual, we have nothing, but I'm standing next to, that might be the gold right there. Everything we want might be in there. Uh, I'm not gonna ask to open them, obviously. Not like with the Zion 101, but <laughs> the Excel box could very well be in there. So maybe I come back tomorrow, who knows? So yet another round of retail hunting. And again, strike one, strike two, strike three, and strike four. Uh, did not expect that. I expected either the tip from the LCS to come through uh, about this Fred Meyer, or I expected Target to be restocked on a Monday, which means that I'm gonna have to keep doing this loop. Maybe I'll come back on Wednesday and I'll keep checking my local Walmart uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, but whew, Mosaic and Champion's Path continuing to elude me. Um, but like I said, I did buy some on the secondary market. So let's take a first look at that and rip some of it. So the good news is that we have Mosaic just a few days after release day. You guys have seen the videos, me driving around, not able to find any locally. Um, so did make a secondary market purchase. And uh, we're going to make actually a secondary market series. So over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'm going to bust these 20 blasters that I bought in a deal for $52.50 each. I am never going to financially recover from this. And uh, four mega boxes as well that I picked up for $125 each. And uh, at the end of those videos, we are going to do a financial recap. I know a lot of you guys like that. And we are going to see if you can make money opening this at uh, 2.5x MSRP. Uh, and then obviously we'll compare and see if you can make money at MSRP. MSRP on 20 blasters is going to be $400 plus tax. And MSRP on four mega boxes is going to be $200 plus tax. So over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm going to be investing $600 MSRP worth of product that I paid $1,500 for. But, uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. And uh, those are fair prices compared to what we're seeing on the market now. Typically blasters are around $60. Uh, mega boxes are around $150, so I was able to swing a couple good deals to put this together. Now, we aren't going to be busting nearly as much mosaic football as we did with basketball. That was just 
stupid. We did a whole month of July dedicated to Mosaic, and you guys just saw... I still have Mosaic videos to upload from basketball, which is just silly. You guys just saw the Silver Prism Zion that I hit, and I think I've got another one queued up soon. You're going to see one of my best orange fluorescents. Anyways, this is going to be our first look video. 20, 20 Panini Mosaic football. We're going to get eight packs in every box, four cards in every pack, so 32 cards total. Let's go ahead get these off here and I will go ahead and show you guys what the sides say and what we are looking for. So there you go. If you want to do a pause of the video, uh, looks like we're still looking for those orange fluorescents numbered to 25. Uh, so orange fluorescents, we can also hit scripts and gold scripts, all that good stuff. Retail exclusive autograph scripts and rookie scripts. Um, so blaster box orange fluorescents. So a lot of similarities to mosaic, a lot of similarities in all of uh, mosaic football to mosaic basketball, almost identical in terms of product configuration. Uh, I know I've seen mega boxes, I've seen hanger boxes, I've not yet seen cello packs, so I, I have no reason to believe they wouldn't do cello packs, but I have not personally seen them yet, and I've not seen anybody rip them on YouTube. Maybe I haven't searched enough, but I've seen some hanger boxes ripped, I've seen some mega boxes ripped, I've watched a lot of hobby be ripped, and um, pretty in tune, you know, I was hoping to find this stuff on release day, I was hoping to pay MSRP. Um, but that didn't come to fruition. I'm still on the hunt for it, so maybe it'll show up and I'll have more mosaic after this. But for the next couple of weeks, we are going to be busting mosaic that I picked up on the secondary market. And there you go. There is that good stuff. Slimy and satisfying. The, currently the hottest football cards on the market. It's a little interesting to me, mosaic coming out before Prism and Optic. Um, you know, it went the other way around in basketball. So this is currently, uh, the, the big kid on the playground before the big boys come out, right? So this is really the first chromium football product of 2020. Uh, will be interesting to see what the market does for the values of some of these cards. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Our very first pack of mosaic football on the channel. Let's get it. Uh, we've done this a lot of times. Card design, same as basketball. Already seeing some scratches, very condition sensitive. We got Deshaun Jackson, Ricky Williams throwing it back, and Gardner Minshew, a player I really like, uh, played over here for the Cougs. Uh, we got Minshew going to be our first one. I don't know. Should I be holding on to those kid reporters? I'm not sure. If somebody wants kid reporter cards, let me know. I have a ton of them. I'll try to evenly distribute them. All right, we got Carrion Johnson. Edmonds, Antonio Gibson going to be our first rookie from the product, and we have an old school Thurman Thomas as well. So again, playing $52.50 a blaster, it hurts my heart, but had to do it. I do not have a problem, I, I enjoy gambling. Uh, I wanted some of this on the channel, and um, uh, fortunately I was able to get a decent price for, uh, for having uh, making such a big deal, but... Hopefully I'll be able to find some locally. There we go. Straight to the PC right there on that Russell Wilson. We got Edelman and Devin McCourty. So a couple of greens so far for us. And uh, still over half the blaster box to go. Looking at the market for this uh, early in the week, right after I thought it's out. So it looks like a touchdown master in here. Uh, looking at the market, we got, um, let's do this, Len Dawson. TJ Watt Pro Bowl and touchdown master going to be Tony Gonzalez. So the wrong Kansas City Chief on that touchdown master. Love the insert, actually, a lot like Jam Masters for football. Looking at the marketplace, you got Burrow, a uh, true rookie, currently selling for over 30 bucks, around 35 bucks. Uh, you've got the uh, debut version of that card selling for about 20 bucks. Um, Tua is going for 25 for the true Patrick Mahomes Silver Prism, going for about 100. Um, so price is very interesting across the board. We will see what what those prices do uh, as this product continues to roll out at retail. Uh, Terry McLaurin going to be a green. So our third green so far through five packs. So three greens, two inserts so far is the first, the breakdown of our first. And uh, we have a silver in here, it looks like. So silver, we have a lamb jack. I would love to see another Lamb Jack in here, uh, maybe in slot number three. Butt Kiss. Jalen Hurts, we will take that. And 
We have a silver, gonna be Will Fuller. Uh, somebody that I actually took in one of the final rounds of one of my fantasy drafts, thinking I had a sleeper, but not the case. He has not looked that hot so far. Uh, I thought maybe with um, Hopkins out of town, maybe he would get some more looks. Uh, has not been the case so far. All right, we got Fournette. That card is out of date, so maybe with Prism we'll see him on a Tampa Bay. Uh, Daniel Hunter and Chase Claypool going to be a debut green for us. That might be our best color so far of the box. And one pack left. So far we've seen five parallels, two inserts, so I would probably expect to see an insert in this pack. Sure enough, we've got Kareem Hunt. Julio Jones, Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, and that is going to be the debut version. Also, a got game of Nick Chubb, but Hilaire probably going to be our best card in that pack. Maybe the Jalen Hurts, but Hilaire, I think we're looking at about $5, 5 to $8 on this version. I know that the base is selling for about $20, um, so I would expect that one to do about half. Uh, overall, I don't think we got our money back there on that first blaster. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! Not seeing a ton of value there. A little bit, but maybe at MSRP we would have, but not quite seeing it. So, get into blaster number two. Con Smith. We got Michael Pittman Jr. going to be the rookie in this pack. Also an old school Peyton Manning. Do love that old school insert. Kind of has that stained glass on the back, but it is not the true stained glass. Those are going to be hobby-only inserts. A uh, hobby box is just a little too expensive for my blood. Coming in at over $700 on day one. This is bullshit. Melvin Gordon and Deion Sanders going to be the going to be the green in there. I'm going to be doing 20 of these over the course of the next couple weeks. I'm also going to have some mega boxes, so... Going to decide how I want to do those. Maybe we'll do some uh, face-offs where we see which one produces the most value. If I can get some, hold of some hanger boxes, maybe we'll throw those in there too. Justin Herbert debut, and he did have a fantastic debut. I'm sad to see that he is not going to be the starter um, once, uh, who is it, Tyrod? Tyrod, right? Tyrod Taylor? Yep, I'm pretty sure I'm right there. Uh, comes back, so nice debut there. Not the true. And uh, Derek Henry will to win. And that's going to be a green mosaic, Derrick Henry. So we will put that off to the side. So a lot of the same inserts. Some of them, they change the names around. You know, that's okay. Thought I felt something, but it's just these kid reporter cards. These were not featured in, um, I think these are an NFL only. TJ Hawkinson. So I'm seeing a lot of lines. A lot of print lines might make this a condition sensitive set. Uh, tough to get a PSA 10s. Calvin Johnson going to be our green, so a whole stack of green so far. And that's uh, exactly my experience with um, exactly my experience with N NBA. There was just a ton of greens. Uh, DJ Chark, every first card seems to have those lines, and maybe they rub off. Um, but these surfaces are super condition sensitive. Uh, Justin Jefferson, nice. And Jerome Bettis, Hall of Fame silver. The bus will always and forever run. In Canton, Ohio. So it looks like we're getting one silver per blaster box. And if so, you know, it's nice. You know, Bettis, good player. But you'd rather be seeing rookies. I don't know if we can hit. I should, probably should have looked at one of those. See if we could hit uh, Genesis, which were the one of the big chase cards in, in basketball. We got Lockett. So straight to the PC with that Tyler Lockett. Gilmore. And Kevin Byard, not too familiar with him, of the Titans. All right, a couple packs left here, blaster number two. I'm enjoying it, and we have a lot more. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what we can find. Maybe not in this video, but maybe in a future video. Uh, I've not really been paying attention to the pool rates that much. Uh, Todd Gurley on the Touchdown Masters. It's very, very strange not seeing him in the division. Of course, me being a big Seahawks fan. Uh, him not being under center. They're not under center, but him not being in the backfield for the Rams is just kind of blowing my mind. We got J.J. Watt. Dwayne Haskins, second year. I think he's going to be a good one. Joe Namath. And we've got Darrington Evans, rookie for the Titans. I am familiar with Evans. Um... I think he's going to be a good player, so we will go ahead and put that in the hits column. But again, 
what I'm seeing is at $52, it's probably going to be pretty hard to make our money back. Money isn't everything. It's the only thing. Um, so we'll do this last one. First look, the cards are beautiful. I like the set. Um, not necessarily sure if those secondary market buys are going to be worth it. It may just be like a feast or famine product. We will see. Uh, Jarvis Landry going to be the green in this pack. It would be nice. You know, I know everybody's frustrated with the flippers and the retail situation. Uh, it would be nice to have this product more readily available. I just saw on Twitter bots just buying out walmart.com. Somebody was bragging about um, uh, their group with their bot being able to buy another touchdown masters, Todd Gurley, with their bot being able to buy something like all of them in all 18,000 combined blaster boxes from walmart.com. Just, you hate to see it. That showed up on Twitter. Uh, frustrated a lot of people, especially some in my group chat. Um, it's just kind of kind of the way things are right now, unfortunately. And until a better distribution system gets uh, set in place, I think we're going to see this as long as trading cards remain hot. All right, keep on, keep it rolling though. Still looking for Burrow or Tua. Other than that, Clyde Edwards, we have not really seen too many big rookies. The Herbert was nice. Chase Claypool, another debut. Straight into the PC, DK Metcalf. So I've got three of my Seahawks so far. Let's see what else we can find. Man, it's just the kid reporters. It's just how many trees, how many trees. We couldn't do that digitally. Howie Long, Donovan McNabb. Cam Chancellor, even more Seahawks. All right, what do we got? Three packs left. Silver is going to be in this pack. We got Marquise Brown, Derek Brown, and our silver going to be Calvin Johnson, Megatron. Beautiful looking card. Don't know what the value of a silver uh, is going to be for a player like Calvin Johnson, of course, no longer in the league. But this is the first year of Mosaic, so maybe in a few years a card like that will have some sneaky value, depending on where Mosaic ends up in the hearts and minds of collectors. A couple packs left here. We've got Peppers, Dan Marino, Nick Bosa, and Michael Thomas. going to be a Pro Bowl green. And our final pack, I'm liking it. I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll have more blasters on the channel for sure, and also mega boxes coming soon as well. Just spoiled that last card. Thought I was a kid reporter. Was not. Baker, Jerry Rice, Hall of Fame, and our final card, gonna be Russ Wilson. So, uh, did hit some nice Seahawks for the PC. Um, but unfortunately, in terms of value, uh, kind of yikes, right? You'll get nothing and like it. Uh, here is our stack of rookies. Um, not a whole lot of rookies too, so six rookies, seven rookies total out of what I'm seeing out of base. Uh, in terms of three blaster boxes, this is going to be three silvers and a handful of greens. I forgot we hit that Darrington Evans, which I believe is over there as well. So a little stack of greens, hit some, insert, hit some inserts as well. Um, and our only three real hits of this video... The Darrington Evans green, which green is, you've seen how many they f fell out of these three blasters, so green is going to be the most common. A Clyde Edwards Hilaire debut, and a will to win Derrick Henry, non-numbered, but a beautiful looking card. All right, that is going to do it. Uh, first look, you know, I'm impressed with this set. Everything looks good. I don't know how valuable it is going to be to rip this product on the secondary market. Obviously, at MSRP, it's fine and it's fun, um, but... We will continue this journey again, going to bust about $1,500 worth of secondary market buys and see what we get in terms of overall value out of all of that. And that's going to be over the next couple of weeks or so. So stay tuned, hit that subscribe button for more Mosaic football videos because we have a lot more of them coming. And that's going to do it for us today. Take care, stay safe, and we will catch you next time on Down the Road.